It started out as a pretty typical Saturday night. Espanola police officer Carl Romero was on duty, keeping an eye on the surveillance cameras around the station when he saw something in the sally port. At first, that was like a polio, like a fly, a moth. And then I saw the legs and it was a human. But not a real human? No, it was just a ghost. So Romero reported it and told his supervisors. Detectives showed us the camera that captured the image. They say there is no way in or out of the secured area without an open gate and alarm sounding. You can see it walk through. It walks in the direction of the old uh, transport cages. And there's not really any way for it to get out through there, but it walks, seems to walk right through that. Detectives say there's no logical explanation for this. Not an issue with the lighting or a technical glitch. Turns out there are a lot of ghost stories around here. A lot of our officers have seen certain things. Uh, some of our officers have felt what, what appears to be somebody breathing down their neck as they're working on reports in the briefing room. Cops at the station also report hearing strange noises in the middle of the night and seeing unexplainable images in the lobby area too. Espanola police tell us as far as they know this is not an ancient burial ground and they say the police station has been here since 2006 but no inmates have died here. But they do say there have been some unsolved murders nearby. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, I do, actually. I do believe in ghosts. Do you think that was a ghost? Uh, I do. I do believe it was something. <laughs> it's hard to say, but I, yeah, I do believe it was a ghost. These guys say they're not afraid of it, but it's definitely an image that haunts the officers who work here. Sirens, then flashing lights at this home in central Fresno. 
It was on fire burning from the inside, and firefighters just happened to be a few doors down. While the 911 call was going in, uh, neighbors were waving in or flagging down our, uh, our engine company. The home was heavily secured, so firefighters had to force their way in. After a quick search, they found a man in the kitchen, unconscious and bleeding from several stab wounds. He was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead. Unknown if the stab wounds caused the death or the smoke inhalation, just uh, too early to tell. Investigators called the death suspicious, and they believe the house was intentionally set on fire. Tamara Oliveria lives across the street. And then he just got those lights fixed and the gates locked. So I'm not sure how anyone would have gotten in even, but it's, it's kind of scary. Police haven't confirmed it, but neighbors say the victim is a man in his mid-40s, a man who lived alone and worked on boats at the home. Teresa Fuentes says he was a friend, and she's not sure why anyone would want to hurt him. If it's a random thing, that makes it much scarier. But that's, you know, because the neighborhood is getting better, we thought. Oliveria says the neighborhood has its problems with crime and vagrants. The flashing lights are common, but she says this was unexpected and disturbing. It is sad. You know, I hope he didn't experience a lot of pain. Eso es lo que no entiendo, Isu. Sí. 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 Sí.